too, is that if you change your mind, you'll change your culture. And I think one of Asheville's, Asheville's issues is that we tiptoe around racism. We, we hide behind stuff. We Because even I'm with the school system, and I have to just ask blank questions like, are the black boys failing or are they, are they passing? Can they read or can they do algebra or are they just are they looking at their Jordans? Are you do you know how to relate to the black boys? If not, we need to get somebody in there that know how to relate to them. So if you we need to get people in position that's not gonna tiptoe around the real issues. Because the thing about it is I go into places where it's all white folks. Because if it's food in there, I'm hungry. Because the food is not white food. You know what I'm saying? The food is right. The sandwich, the, the avocado doesn't say this is for black girls or for white girls. That, it says that I like Avocado, you know what I'm saying? But we have to break outside of that because a lot of times we'll like we'll self segregate. We'll say, or we won't step outside the box to try something else, or we won't go in there because we'll say, oh, that's all white folks, or that's all black people. But if you're hungry, go eat. Or if you want to go in a place, but Asheville has not been always inviting. Even at Bell Shell, I'm like. Well, where's the black music? Because I don't want to hear no, no banjos on the grass. That's not my, that's not my cup of tea. But who's in position to say, I don't want to hear that? Who's in position to say, I want to introduce something new? But we're not, we're not speaking up because Timmy tried to. I mean, some people are, but we may not be doing it as much as we need to. But she's right. A lot of people ain't walking through downtown. This happens with Hispanics also, and I assume it happened with blacks. A lot of times I think that it, it's true. But a lot of times I think they feel that white people are just trying to include them. They're not really welcome. They're just like, hey, let's throw something for them. Yeah, and, they're, and it's all about tolerating. And um, The thing is, is I, I think that's a shell that needs to be broken. I think that's where there's a lot of problem there because a lot of the, the newer people that are holding a black festival, Hispanic festival, they appreciate that culture. They want to celebrate that culture. But there's so many people that are like, no, these people are just trying to include us. An example, I've got uh, younger brothers, twins that are 15, and um, my other brother is 18. He's an awesome football player. He's got an awesome arm. He's, he's just ridiculous on the field. He's ridiculous on the basketball court. He calls me the first day before their first game, and he's like, that racist coach kicked me off the team. He's Hispanic. I'm like, it's funny to read through what people were saying about Belshare and hear people talk about during it, because one of the only things I see... I, I saw bringing together every single social group people I knew was they all didn't like Bell Share. Yeah. Different yeah. reasons. They all didn't like Bell Share. And it's but it's it 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 goes back to the whole issue of they see that as the artistic community. There's one group, a certain type of music, certain type of stuff they see as artistic as the community and ignores a whole bunch of other people on whatever mm -hmm. basis. Male in America. So I have two strikes against me for being black right. and being a male. Yeah, they think yeah. that I'm supposed to be ignorant right. and mm -hmm. sell mm -hmm. drugs. Right. I grew up in Erskine. Mm -hmm. My mom grew up on food stamps, okay? But am I on it now? I'm, I'm working on my degree in law now. So I'm breaking the cycle, but when you have these racist white cops right. that are, they are stereotype, <laughs> stereotyping us as black men for driving uh, infinity, a uh, Benz, oh, we gotta sell drugs. Right. Ain't never touched a drug in my life. How did politics ever? I mean, we just gotta. I think that's politics causes. Yeah, but look at, look at this reality. It's reality. It's reality. It's reality. It's reality. young black men versus disenfranchised young white men. I read a study about um, the new Jim Crow, Michelle, Ale Michelle Alexander, mm -hmm. amazing woman, opened my eyes to there's more disenfranchised young black men right now than slavery yeah, in 1856. Is that what we're living in? So I need to worry about that. So I'm not going to worry about politics personally. Okay, Obama got elected, but come on. What, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to an Obama celebration because, okay, this is just going to be another reason for people to say, look how integrated we are as, an, as individuals. We're not. There are places all over the world that are not integrated at all because this is where we are coming from. You have to. I have to compel my children to want to learn more than what Asheville City Schools is going to teach them or Buncombe County, God forbid. Well, Buncombe well, County Schools. Well, well, right. People in this city vote in the last city election. That's right. Less than one in five, and politics is a lot more than who goes out to vote. That means an incredibly small chunk of the city is deciding 
who runs, who gets elected. Yeah, How, well, there's, but there isn't a thing here. I mean, th that's a small enough point of, of, the, of the populace that if, if, if enough people were like, well, we want to organize, we want to run this person, we want to knock on doors, and finally, last stage of a lot of other stuff, you want to vote, a lot of, a lot of things could be very, very different. For the mayor. When the last we have to go forward, like 30 years back. But we should. Again, 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 always, always, always underrepresented. You go to, you go to a Chamber of Commerce event, you go to a political event, you go to city council. Blacks are always underrepresented. Always.